Hi, it's Nell, and today's video is all about succulent repotting, so stick around for that. Ah, it's the fourth video in a row, so I might get a little crazy on this one, but what I mean by repotting is going from one pot into another pot. I'm going to be doing videos on planting succulents in small pots, planting an indoor garden, planting succulents in shallow containers, so there's gonna be more planting coming up. But this is just from one plant to one pot, but the same principle can apply if you have multiple plants in a pot too. But just for SEO sake, I'm doing this. The best time to do this is spring, summer, or early fall because plants, you know, like to rest in the winter, house plants do too, and, and outdoors, obviously. So I just leave them be at that time. And, and the reason that you would repot a plant is that it is, um, it's a, a cutting that's rooted and it needs to go in a bigger pot. Um, it could be that it just, it, you know, the soil's bad or the soil's old and it needs new fresh soil. It may, it may have outgrown the pot. Succulents don't have a huge root system, but if it's in a small pot, it might be a little bit bound. Like I'm gonna be repotting my dancing bones because this is in a pot with no drain hole and it's been in here for three years. And I can tell it's looking a little bit stressed. So I'm gonna put it into a bigger pot with a drain hole. And there were a couple other things. Oh, you, you may have dro dropped it or it may have been overwatered or you just don't want it to change the soil out. So those are, are some reasons. And speaking of, I might have forgotten a reason, it would be in the blog post that goes along with this video because I oftentimes forget to say things or I just want to do more details. So you'll find it on our website, joyousgarden.com or in the very top of the description box down below. So I'm gonna be repotting my miniature pine tree, which is a, a chrysula, it needs, it's growing, it needs a bigger pot, and my dancing bones today. The dancing bones is going into this pot. It has a, a drain hole, but I'm gonna put this little piece of mesh over the drain hole so the mix doesn't go out, and I'm gonna put because this is a deeper pot and this has had a lot of rock in it, um, I'm going to put about an inch of rock in the bottom here just to help with the drainage on that. And this has one drain hole in it too, just in case you're not familiar with that. This one does not have a drain hole, but I'm going to do a whole separate video and post on planting succulents in pots with no drain hole because you plant them a different way and you also also maintain them a different way. But you'll oftentimes find some really cool pots that don't have a drain hole. It um, can be a bit tricky to maintain them, but uh, we will get into that in that video. Okay, so this has multiple drain holes. I just put a, sh a sheet of paper over to hold the mix in. I'm gonna put some mix in the bottom of the pot, and this is my DIY succulent and cactus mix. I've done a whole video and post already on, on succulent soil, and most of them, especially these smaller ones, you know, come out easy because they don't have a huge enough root system, so I'm just gonna ease it out of the pot, and you can see this looks like it was planted more in potting, you know, in the soil, you know, kind of a mix. So I'm gonna just take off the top mix because I don't want as much potting soil in there and just get it off onto there and it's going to set up about there. So some good things to know well, when you repot succulents is, is the leaves easily and leaves can easily fall out. It's not going to happen fall off. It's not going to happen on this plant because they're, they're fine <laughs> but there's some succulents that you touch them and the leaves come off. I have done a video about planting succulents with leaves falling off, but 
uh, just giving you a heads up, low, like the burrow's tail. <laughs> that one is really crazy. So I just kind of adjust uh, and the root ball in there, I'll pack it down a little bit so the plant stands up. And these get about uh, three to three feet tall. So I'm gonna put it in a little bigger grow pot eventually. I mean, not bigger grow pot, a bigger decorative pot. So I just wanted to put it in a new pot and give it some new soil. So it, it is good to have drain holes in your pot, a, dra a drain hole or drain holes because you know succulents are very prone to overwatering and you don't want that and a drain hole ensures that and the water just flows out. Also with this very light aer aerated mix, that is the case also because you don't want them to hold any water at all. And that gives that a bigger base. I had a huge, you know, one of those in a pot in, in Santa Barbara, it just kind of grew and grew. It got really, 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 really big. So we have only one drain hole like in this pot here. This, a beautiful pot. I got this pot on Amazon, by the way. I try to buy most of my pots, you know, locally because I prefer to, but, but, but I did buy some on Amazon in case you wanted um, a pot. A pot, you know, similar to this, just so I could show you. And there's also a smaller version of this. I have a little bit, a bit of rock on the bottom because there's only one drain hole. And then I'm just gonna put some of this in here because my dancing bones, I'm anxious to see the root system on this because it's been in that pot for so long. So yes, yeah, if, if, if you have many drain holes, you might wanna just cover them up so the mix doesn't go out and with either a mesh or paper or something where the water can flow out freely. And as I said, you definitely will want to use a succulent and cactus mix for sure. That is a one thing. And then um, when I repot, I generally go up one pot size. Like this was the miniature pine was in a four inch pot and I went, I went up to a six inch pot. This is a little bit bigger. I might have, oh, are you gonna cut? Oh, good. Hey, not bad at all. So yeah, you can see this didn't have any, any drain hole. And I think it'll perk up and look better being in this pot too. So after I pot, you know, something up, I let it settle in for one, <laughs> one to seven days before I water it. I want it to settle in dry and then I will give it a watering. So um, that is the rule of thumb that I do. I don't, I don't water them you know, right away. And then after they're all potted up and all happy, I can move them back in, in, into the same spot that they were in, a nice bright spot. So it's really <laughs> yeah, it's simple, you just, have to be uh, kind of careful too. This one isn't too bad, but some of the stems, so like when I was working with my pencil cactus, it was just like, ugh, it has sap too. So that one was harder because the um, branches snap. But this one is pretty flexible and it's pretty good. So there you go, baby, my baby doll. I love my dancing bones here. <laughs> And then the mistletoe cactus, which is related to dancing bones, I'm gonna put in this pot here, but I'm gonna do that in the video that I do on directly, um, <laughs> not directly planting, planting, planting into pots you know, with no drain holes. Oops, there's a couple leaves that broke off that, but that just happens, you know, they're really, really uh, sort of delicate to work with, but these two are all repotted. It is simple to do. As I said, I will let them settle in. And probably in about a month or so, it's, it's the end of April, I'm gonna put a little worm compost, compost, compo, uh, combo <laughs> um, on the top. Just like maybe half an inch or so, that's how I feed my succulents. So um, I'm looking forward to see if my dancing bones perks up a little bit. It'll probably be happy, it's like yay. I have a drain hole now, but I really like it in, in this pot. I think the pot suits this plant. 
very nicely. And as I said, this one is going into a decorative container. It'll get about three feet tall or so and, and spread. So that's why it's called a miniature pine tree. So when I plant succulents, I plant them up just a little bit higher the crown, a little bit higher than the edge of the pot because the weight of the succulents is, is gonna pull it down into the loose mix. So if you plant it down or even it could sink down and that could cause over over watering if the um if the water it starts to gather at the crown so i always have them up and good they're just a hair and this is my darling new calico hearts plant i haven't seen one of these in ages so i was thrilled to get it at eco grow here in tucson there will be more information in the blog post for you um i'll have some links in there also on the website joycegarden.com and also in the description box down below. I hope you have found this video to be helpful. As you can see, it's not complicated to repot them at all. Sometimes they're a little tough to get out of the pot. It depends and you have to use a little more force or cut, but you know, on these smaller ones are usually easy to get out of the pot too. So um, I thank you for all your likes and your subscribes. Don't you like how I all of a sudden <laughs> changed it? <laughs> now let's get into our indoor succulent gardens and make our world a more beautiful place. It is about six o'clock at night, been filming, working this morning too, so it is time for a beer. It's a early Friday evening, so Hope you have a good one and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the next in the succulent series.